welcome back to the session in this session we are going to see dom introduction we will understand what is dom from where dom comes what are the things which can be performed using dom and also i will be answering you few questions which most of the people will be asking in internet so let's get started previously as i mentioned dom stands for document object model you don't have to get scared with this document object model everything we are going to understand now as i mentioned before this course will be divided into parts so this will be the first part and we are going to see dom introduction open my chrome browser i will do inspect here let me just increase the size you can also create your simple html page and you can inspect this one i will come to console i have cleared everything now inside the browser everything is represented as an object object we have already seen we will have property name and the value so to access properties inside the object we will be using dot operator so in the same way for this also to access any properties inside this we are going to use dot operator as everything is represented by an object so the main pillar the main stump of this is windows so this is my entire browser you can see here i am having this tab and inside this from the html part where we write here okay this is our browser so below this bookmark where our website is displayed that is called as document inside windows we have our document so windows will be treated as a king in this windows will be having all the powers inside windows itself we are having the document now if i just write here window entered can see these are the properties available to us as soon as i open this we are having our document here you can see we have this document and when i just open this all the properties all the methods we are having inside this document will be available you can see everything is available we have body we have many events we have images we have forms entire thing we have child elements child notes children every property related to this document will be available to us so you should understand document will be inside window and window will be the king window will be the parent of this one let me clear this now here if i just write here document enter if i just open this one you can see i will be getting this html representation so when i just write document i am not going to get all the properties and methods which were listed when we saw inside the windows we will get entire html representation so a document will be indicating this html representation whatever code we are writing that will be displayed if we write this document but if you want to see all the properties and methods available inside this you can either use window and you can go inside document and you can watch all the properties or you can write console.diff and inside this you can write document enter now when you open this you will see all the properties which we saw in windows document that will be available here so it is just going to represent in json format tree so you don't have to worry why we have written console.diff later on we are going to understand the differences between console.log as well as console.diff and we will see from where this console comes okay now you will be having an understanding windows is the parent and inside windows we have all these properties and methods inside that itself we are having our document object window is also an object document is also an object so as i mentioned to access any properties related to object we should be using dot operator so now if i just write here window dot document enter i will be getting the same html representation 
I am not going to get all the properties and methods available inside that. I will be getting the HTML representation. So even without writing this window, if I just write here document, I will be getting the same result. Let me write here document. And you can see the same HTML structure I am going to get. As document is a very special object, so you don't have to write window.document. Directly you can write like this and you can get the result. In windows, we are having many methods. Let me write here inner height. This is going to give me the inner height of my browser. If I write here inner width, enter, it will be giving me the inner width. So whatever properties and methods we are having inside windows, we do not have to mention windows dot this one, windows dot that one. Directly we can write and we can get the result. But inside document, let me open this. Let me write here console dot there. Enter. Inside this document, you can see we have this first child, first element. Don't have to worry about that. I will open this body. Inside this body, we, we are having all these properties and methods. Now I just want to access this body. I will just close this. Now directly if I write here body, it is not going to give me anything. It will be generating error. Because this body is present inside document and document is present inside windows. So to access document, directly we can write document and get the result. But to access this body, we should be writing document dot body enter. Only then we will be getting the result. Entire body will be displayed. Now if I in the same way, if I just write here window window dot document dot body i am going to get the same result so most of the time and almost every time we will be avoiding writing window dot document directly we access using document dot and we will get the result now suppose inside this browser if i am having some forms i can directly write window dot forms i can access this i will be getting html empty collection HTML collection is a concept in itself that we will understand when we learn about selectors. As of now, in this browser, I do not have any form. So, it is giving me empty HTML collection. Now, you should be having a question, who is providing this DOM to us? Okay, this DOM is provided by the browser. So, each and every browser will be giving access to this DOM, giving access to this document. And from there, we can access all the properties and methods and we can change our HTML content. We can modify our HTML content. We can delete HTML content. Using JavaScript, we are going to do all the stuff. So, this DOM is provided by the browser. So, you should not get confused. JavaScript is providing DOM. It is not. Browser will be providing the DOM. And it is not only like one browser, we have access to only one document. If I open another tab, here also I will be having separate document. Now I will come here. If I just write here window. Let me write here window. Here also we are having separate DOM. This tab will be giving me separate window instance. And also this tab will be giving me different instance. So, for each and every tab, we are having different documents. And also, every browser, I am using Chrome, so I will be having different authorities. If you are using Internet Explorer, they might be giving you different authorities. So, it completely depends on the browser structure, what authority and what all access they can give to you. So, basically, DOM will be provided by the browser and inside browser, this entire thing is represented as window and inside window we have our document by using this document we can write javascript code we can access all the html elements we can change the content i will come here i will open this let me clear i will come to my second tab okay let me just open one tab and just open one console inspect I am having this console. Now inside this I just want to access the body. Directly I can write document dot body. 
body is nothing but it is a part of our html now i just want to change the background color so we have to write here style dot background color it will be giving me all the properties i will write here background color background color let me write here orange as soon as i hit enter you can see where i am having the body that is changed to orange color background you can see orange color is changed using this dom we can write javascript code to access our html elements to change the content to change the color to change the font to change the background color all the things we can perform and also every time whenever you open this new tab you will be having your own window instance so for each and every tab we have different document so now you will be having a question javascript is used we are writing we are accessing all the elements we are getting access to this document using this document we are able to do lot of stuff we are able to change the html content change the background color but dom is a programming language or not if yes it is a high level or low level programming language if no then what actually dom is so as i mentioned browser will be giving access to this document so that we can access all the html elements and we can change and to access that one we need one programming language so document is not only used in javascript it is also used in many other programming language like python so using that programming language we are changing all the content inside the website so without this document our website will become useless so we will not be able to do complete client side website so we can just display the static data we cannot display dynamic data we cannot change the color of buttons we cannot change any content without this dom so we are using javascript we are accessing html elements by using this dom we are writing javascript code and we are accessing html elements to change the content dynamically so without dom our websites will become useless so it is not a programming language but programming languages like javascript python uses this dom which is provided by browser to access content and to change the content and every browser will be having different and unique way of giving access to this dom let me summarize whatever we have seen as soon as you open browser the entire thing which you see from tab till this one it is called as window and inside window we have this document object and windows we have lot of properties lot of methods and inside that we have this document so to access document directly we can write document or we can write window dot document as everything in browser will be represented as an object and to access properties or methods present inside the document we just have to write document dot that particular property name or method so using dom we can change the color we can change the content and it is not a programming language but it is used with programming language to change the content inside the website so that we can make our website dynamic this is just the introduction we have lot of things to learn about dom